Hey friends, welcome back to Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. Look how incredible these brand new Spider-Man Venomized Maximum Venom action figures look. They look absolutely incredible. These are the Titan Hero Series action figures, so they are tall. What do you say we go ahead and get started? Right? Now. What is up, Vincent Gigi? Vincent Gigi, Super Channel G. Super Channel G. G -G. Vincent Gigi from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent Gigi on Super Channel G. So tight, don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV. On Super Channel G. God, is this great! I think next we should do this Captain America. Number one, because Captain America is amazing. Number two, look at this beautiful artwork. Number three, because we might be able to... Um, Put this on other action figures who knows we'll see i know it does have the captain america a and it does have his star but um i think it would still be cool look at that this beautiful artwork this artwork is incredible look at that i love how the black and the blue are kind of like fighting over that star looks absolutely incredible this one has last gear that we're able to put this crossbow on captain america's back and we're able to fire something up. Pew, 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 pew. So look at the shield that has the symbiote all over it. That looks great. And then again, look at this beautiful package. This beautiful artwork. Look at that. Look at this beautiful artwork right here. Man, that is incredible. Again with the logo. That absolutely phenomenal Spider-Man Maximum Venom logo. Jeez, look at that. Can't get enough of that. So let's see if it says anything about Captain America back here. It says, when the Venom symbiote attaches to Captain America, he gains extreme new powers. Which appears to be a black symbiote crossbow. Okay, let's cut him on out. And I wonder if we'll have to open the whole thing or not, which I doubt. What we could probably do is this. And this. This will probably just bleep, pop forward. After opening quite a few of these, you get the hang of the easiest way to still conserve the box. Okay. I think that's, wow, that was easy. And then can I pop this off without completely removing it? Doesn't look like it. So, just gonna Take a sec to remove it carefully. And give me a second. Okay, sweet. So we'll do, just get my knife right into that. Set that aside. Set this aside. Set this aside. Two more pieces. Perfect. Take this side, and I can just slide this bad boy right back in there. Pop those corners right in there, and boom, voila. All right, so let's see what we got here. Let's take a look at our Captain America first of all. And, okay, let's see how much mobility we have on the head. It's definitely a heavy duty build. Look at his. Um, little wing right here logo it's absolutely amazing it's A right here I love this his head sculpt actually pretty good look at that of course we can turn pretty well here look at that a lot more articulation we have on the venom even though it's not ridiculously a lot it is more it's definitely muscular we're able to move the arms all the way around again no elbows or knees again though we can move the arms about this much out it turns so that looks like the wrist can turn but it's really on the high part of the forearm 
version of the glove. But that looks cool. I love how he has the scale suit. Traditional looking scale suit. Look at the sculpt. It's awesome. Like his, his utility belt here. That'd be cool if we painted it. And again, he is gonna... Oh, he doesn't sit as much upright as Venom does. Look at that. But that's how far they move forward. And it doesn't move any further back because it hits right there. He can do like the Jean-Claude Van Damme splits. But otherwise, his leg only comes that far up. I think it'd come a little bit further up. It could sit a little bit better, but nonetheless, he's able to stand and he's able to turn his arm. So, let's take a look to see what is here with the Venom accessories. Look at that. So, we can probably just pop this on. Okay. Let's see this chest plate right here. Look at that. That looks cool. So like it just pops right on, right here. Oh, it just pops on, then we'll put that. Oh my gosh! Really dropping it twice? You would have thought I buttered popcorn for dinner. And dude, was flying out of my hand again. Okay, there we go. And it's actually not on super secure, so maybe that's what the issue is. It just kind of rests in there. Okay, let's take a look at this web crossbow. Actually looks kind of cool. And there's a button right here. Kind of camouflage. And here's the projectile. It's a web projectile. Put this. Clicks a couple times. Let's take a look. Wow, it actually comes out pretty quick and strong. Let's see. Wow. Okay. Let's so put this right here. It clicks. Pop this in right here. Oop, I accidentally pressed that and it shot out of my hand. So beware. Oh my god! What's the matter with me? Did it again. Here we go. Okay, let's look at the shield. The shield looks wonderful. Look at that. And the star's almost like melting. Look at that. Looks great. Okay, so we'll put this over here. Look how awesome that looks. Here's the sculpt for the boots. I really wish these guys had knees and elbows that bend to get some amazing articulation. But ultimately, they don't but still really cool action figures. But again, this would be really cool to customize with, with some paint. There's only so many colors on this action figure, but very awesome. Let's put them right on over here. What do you think, guys? Oh, he's leaning a little too far forward. There we go, Cap. What do you think about that? Great. Awesome. Let's move on to our next action figure.